my name is Patrick and welcome back to Shuffle War Nights. This is Shark Week, day number two. Well, it's like day number four of Shark Week. Day number two for us, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last time... Well, don't I... talk, Andrew. He didn't introduce us. So... That's true. I'm yeah, not here. Silence, please! <laughs> last time I played Shark Attack, today Chris is going to pick a game for us to play and we're joined by Andrew. Oh, yeah, hey. Look, I forgot to introduce you, okay? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> what are you going to play, Chris? Well, since it's Shark Week, let's play Twin Tiger Shark. Yep. The only other game on the indie live arcade game store that had the word shark in the title that we could find. Well, there's one other one. Well, what, what was it? That'll be a C. Oh, it does have word shark. You're right. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It had someone that had shark in the title. And the stupid search op options don't search games. They should search movies. All right. So I imagine we're going to be playing as a tiger shark, which is... A type of shark. Yeah. I, I imagine you're you're a anthropomorphic tiger shark flying a plane. Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming in this plane right no, now no, no. is a tiger shark. No, no, no. The shark evolved so that it could fly. I mean, he's killing other marine animals. It's very conspicuous that we're not seeing his face, so it's pretty obvious the twist ending is that he is a shark. <laughs> well, like, he turns around and is a shark. Yeah, he has like a big toothy smile. I wish that when you crashed, then it like opened the second phase of the game where you had to survive behind enemy lines. Well, I wish after you crashed, it revealed that you were a shark, and then yeah. you die because you're just on land. <laughs> <laughs> you're just flopping around. And you're like, yeah. oh, I can't breathe. Oh. All right, the square actually is something we're supposed to collect. Yeah, went on a limb on that one. <laughs> It was red, which is usually a bad color. Oh, oh, oh! H, you got help! Get them, my fellow sharks! Now we're a school of sharks! <laughs> Take them to school. This is a tiger shark feeding fucking frenzy. I wonder if they can die. I hope not. They're my people. Maybe you have to find your twin tiger shark. Ooh. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe you're a tiger shark who, who learned to fly a plane to save his twin B? B? Uh, oh, there we go. Really, to chase that down. <laughs> we have places guess, to be, why? I guess B made them go away, or maybe <laughs> they timed out? Hard to tell. Oh, not the bees! Left. Not the bees! Man, what the? Was that you? Jeez. Yes. Is that B? Quite a I'm B. not pressing B, I'm pressing X, but uh... Oh, you're, you're, that was your last missile, by the way. I figured they were bombs <laughs> or missiles. I can't see any of the uh, indicators for how many bombs or specials They I were have. on the bottom right corner of the screen. Oh, I imagine I have one more life as the uh... Yeah, the plane on the Little on biplane the left. there. Ooh, I will say, this kind of does make me want to play... H, help! H for help! Uh -huh. I kind of want to play, uh... Oh, they can die, by the way. Your friends. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh god, what was the name of it? Comanche. Commander? Oh. Comanche. You play, uh, it's a really old game, but you play a, uh, just a helicopter running around doing things. Mostly killing. I mean, what this makes me want to play is, uh, any Toho bullet, uh, hell game. <laughs> or one of the, uh... Oh, uh... Monohime games, I think they're called. Yeah. Any of the uh, various bull hell games where the screen is super vertical like this. It's kind of weird that it's cheating a bit, because the screen's super vertical, but there's space to left and right. Still. Yeah, that's yeah. not the way you're supposed to do that. It's supposed why, to be why not the show full you, range. Why not yeah. just show you what's on the screen? Yeah. Like, why hide it off to the sides? That is an annoying aspect of this Is it, game. like, made for a phone? Like, oh is my it God. adapted? Even then, your phone has more left and right space yeah. than this. Yeah. It's just, a, a lot of bullet hell games are super vertical screened because that's the yeah. point of interest. They wanted to emulate that, but yet they've still got this stupid stuff going on. Yeah. Good way to burn the TV. That's fun. Right? It's true. Which is uh, especially prevalent for this TV, because it is a plasma. Well, you did buy it because you said you liked the idea of burning. <laughs> no, just the uh, the special um, Patrick mode. <laughs> A.K.A. screen wipe. The Patrick channel. You know what you should okay, do? Okay. Um... No, no, to be fair, I bought this TV because it would be the best one for the living room, because it has the best color and viewing angle. 
That's why I got it. What, what you should do is when you're when you're uploading this, excuse me, you should rotate it 90 degrees and people can watch <laughs> it on their phone and then get that full view. But then all the text would be sideways. What the fuck? Where yeah, the yeah, boss but, go? Yeah, but they'd have to watch them. They'd turn Gilbert. their phone sideways. He just left. He wasn't dead. He still had health. Oh god, that sound is not good. Great Thanks. Sound. Thanks, developer. I'm annoyed that the boss didn't die. I thought I thought he did die. Like you got him low enough that he just kind of like he just left. Yeah. I didn't finish him. He didn't die. Maybe I should have saved my bombs for that. My bombs. <laughs> my bomb. My bomb. My bomb. All right. This this upgrade makes the game laughable. <laughs> <laughs> As does most. Up oh help. As do, do most upgrades, I imagine that. Uh, there we go. Allow you to shoot a lot. I mean, like, I'm going to say that this is not a bullet hell game. It's a shmup. Yeah. Like, bullet hell it doesn't matter how many bullets you're pumping out. The real challenge is dodging. Yeah, like knowing exactly what your hitbox is and weaving between all those bullets. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with shmups, though. What's the What's the name of the the bullet hell game where you you change your your color from black to white and you gotta absorb some bullets and reflect the other ones? Maybe it's like black and red or white. Yeah, and red. it's uh, white and black. Uh, that one is air gaze. I wanna say. Could be wrong though. It's not Einhander, which is another fun one. That's the one where you're like a floating robot that has an arm with a gun. Yeah. Okay. Is it air gaze? No, I think it starts with a K now that I think about it. I don't know. But that's that's the one that's always intrigued me because it's it feels like it's got not just the dodging elements, but a little bit of strategy involved oh, in yeah, where because you're moving you have to, uh, and where you're flipping. Keep flipping, and when you flip you can absorb the color that you are. Right. So if you're and, white, and you, you and you do white more bullets. damage to the opposite colored enemies too. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's like it's got a little bit more strategy than just dog and shoot. Dog I and do shoot, own that game on Steam. Yeah. I know that Ikaruga is another popular one, right? Oh, maybe we are oh, thinking man. of Ikaruga. You got hit. You lost your. Is that one where you change colors? Yeah, I think that might be the black and white one, Ikaruga. Yeah. I remember because that one was introduced on Steam a while ago, and that one was like, "Wow, really? Ikaruga's gonna be on Steam?" Yep, that used to be a PlayStation Two, oh, no. PlayStation One. Your power got removed. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I'm losing my power. You got hit. Did I? I didn't yeah. see myself get hit. Wait, did, did you get hit, or did you pick up a collectible? I mean, I thought I picked up a collectible. It looks like you got hit by a missile immediately before you. Because that's what happens. Was when it a you big get square hit? missile? I don't remember. <laughs> the square thing is a power up, a pickup. Yeah, so he, he may have picked up a pickup that changed his, his weapon. Which is dumb because that's a clear downgrade. Yeah. And it's not like the weapons are any different colored, it's just the red one changes you to something. H is help, and B is something we haven't figured out yet either. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no, it does change colors, and if you pick it up when it's changed colors, that changes, uh. That's interesting. What, what you get, because it did change to blue when it hit the back wall. Yeah, I noticed. Okay. I guess the red ones, I'm just going to uh, let them bounce once. Yeah. So I don't think red does anything. I think red gives you just a stronger forward shot. Boring. <laughs> boss. Alright, boss time. That's convenient. Multiple bosses. Oh, bop. time expired. Well, then. Well, shit. I'll say that this was the best shark game so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, it actually felt like it was a, a game that had gameplay elements. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a very passable shmup. I do take some criticism with uh, the vertical thing if you're going to still have panning left and right. If you're going to do that, then just make it a full screen experience. Yeah, because it felt like you couldn't see what was happening to your sides. You can. You have to actually move the screen left and right, which is kind of defeating the purpose of doing this vertical thing here. Like, yeah. you're artificially limiting my view. Why do they do the vertical thing? Or why did they do the vertical thing? I know for, like, bullet hells, they're doing it so, like, instead of having a huge field of view, it's very much focused on you and the bullets, so it's easier to, like, manage the whole experience. Mm. Uh, for this, I don't know. I don't know what the benefit is here. The best I could think of is maybe it was a phone game and when they brought it here, they just did the artwork on the sides. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But I've always enjoyed uh, shmups and bullet hells, so, you know, thumbs up for me. That was fine. Except for the few minor annoyances. The panning. Yeah, yeah, the panning. You couldn't kill the boss. 
I mean, that's fine. <laughs> In all honesty, like, I like that because it made me immediately go, like, I, well, I want to just redo that level now. <laughs> Let me add them. I, I'm going to save my bombs this time. I can do it better. Yeah. Like, uh, Star Fox 64 I always thought was a great game because you fight a boss, but if you do the level a certain way or fight the boss a certain way, you could actually unlock a whole new route in the game. That was super neat. It's another game I haven't played in a long time. No, me either, me either. I'm hoping uh, someone I know picks up uh, the SNES Mini because uh, it's going to come with Star Fox 2. Never right, before right, the released. unreleased game. Yeah. yeah. I remember reading that on the news. I played an emulated version of it, but I can confirm all the emulated versions that were released were not actually the fully completed game. They are at like 80% or so. Mm. So this is like the proper 100% we finished the game and like iron out bugs experience. Nice, nice, nice. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Uh... <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> rambling is what the show's about. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. We'll really quick check out the price here. Probably a buck. Yeah. I bet it's a dollar. I bet it's two dollars. Nah, it's a dollar. Oh, yeah. I was hoping you were saying 99 cents so I could scream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Like and uh, subscribe for more in the future. You know, there's one more episode of Shark Week left and to go. And please rest, reconnect the controllers. And please make sure reconnect your controllers, please. And uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. And remember, sharks are not your enemy. They're just peaceful. I mean, they're carnivores, so you know. <laughs> I mean, they gotta eat. Yeah. Look, yeah if, as long as you, you don't look like a seal from underneath the water, you're probably all right. If you get eaten, it's just your own fault. Yeah. Don't don't get eaten. Watch out. I've had only pleasant experiences with sharks. Uh, done. Except for that one mako that I caught and ate. I'm uh, sorry. Done. <laughs>